TYT gets four million from Buddy Romer firm, twenty million from other investors and, and fundraisers. YouTube even gave us a chunk of three hundred million dollars in their news initiative. I mean, I think it's only fair we do the work. I think we're entitled to a living wage. Okay, that's bullshit. Every word you just said is bullshit. All right. Question of the day. Okay, of course everybody's so hypocrite, right? We've talked about this on the left, right. Every, there is hypocrisy everywhere. No one lives up to a perfect standard. But do you find that leftists today, progressives, find it especially hard to play by their own rules when it affects their pocketbooks? Have you been following the Young Turks saga and Cenk's vehement opposition to unions and the enterprise? Also, how soon did you have to change your pants from pissing yourself <laughs> laughing at this story? I want to be very clear here. Uh, Cenk, Cenk Uyghur is not a, just like anti-specific. He's anti-union in the Young Turks, period, across oh, yeah. the board. Yeah. <laughs> and this may be part, by the way, of a political attack against him because he's running for office. I get that, but I don't care. <laughs> I really don't <laughs> it doesn't care. Matter at all. It's perfect. <laughs> some context before we get to some clips. Uh, last week, of course, the Young Turks announced, uh, the workers announced that they were going to be planning oh. to unionize. So before we get to the response, and spoiler alert, I think you can know that they, they, they weren't exactly super thrilled. Um, <laughs> this should be a moment of, of glee for the Young Turks. The Young Turks, specifically Cenk, considering their rhetoric on unions and corporations for, I guess not decades, but um, a decade, yeah. they should be thrilled. Workers want to unionize. They want to say, hey, maybe we'll have more leverage if we all unite. By ourselves, they're just going to fire us and get somebody else to fill the job. But if we're united together, well, that's in a, in a way uh, part of the marketplace where we then use our collective power uh, and leverage it against the employee to, to make sure our wages come to a balance when he was that makes sense these for segments? both sides, right? At that point, that he was anti-union for his own company? Oh, it's not like they can't afford it, and this is perfectly normal. He never heard it was going to bite him but, in the ass. Uh, <laughs> if you are a government union, uh, or if you don't have a government union, you don't have uh, uh, collective bargaining, uh, and you want to go into your boss and say, all right, I'd like you. a pay raise. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have absolutely no ability to do that. The only way that any boss would take you seriously, whether it's a private or a public uh, place, is whether you could bring everybody in together. I mean, but when you have rich you know how he you operates as a boss, right? uh, right, yes. funding this, it might be to their great interest to make sure that unions are incredibly weak throughout the country. The death of Antonin Scalia might have inadvertently Just Southern California. had some very good uh, ramifications for American unions. Yeah. The reason unions make sense, in, 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 especially in very large corporations, oh, oh, oh. is because you have uneven power. Hmm. Any one worker has very, very little power against a giant corporation. There's 5,000 workers. I love how he just picks a number that he right? thinks he won't cross <laughs> over. <laughs> right. hand, like when Bernie went from millionaires to billionaires. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, battlefield. Some crazy bit. number like 5,000. Get great <laughs> results because of that. <laughs> Why, why'd you pick 5,000 workers? There are not many companies that have 5,000 workers. Why don't you pick, I don't know, 50? <laughs> Because by the standards yeah. that the Young Turks would use, if you yeah. look at the Bush tax cuts and how they would affect businesses, of course, of course, of course. the Young Turks would be in the top tax <laughs> bracket. I just let they keep. I'm sorry. And I, by the way, I want to be clear. I defend Shank Uyghur's right to not have his employees unionize. Of course, I should never. But if people here unionize, um, you know, you'll, you'll. I mean, you won't actually be fired. But come on, don't show up to work <laughs> the next day. Um, <laughs> you know what you did. I just and I would love to, by the way, before we get into the details, Young Turks compare ledgers and and and, and books. I guarantee you, we pay these workers here more than you do at the Young Turks because you have something like eighty employees. So they should be thrilled. Only Jake Weger and Anna, they're not here. I think we have an, uh, an overlay from his tweet. And uh, according to the Huffington Post, this just came out today in a tense meeting with employees. Jank Uyghur argued that a union doesn't belong at a small news network struggling to make profits. He said that if there had been a union at the network, it would not have grown the way it has. His talk was at times emotional, mm. the staffer said, with Weir throwing his papers to the ground at one point and chastising an employee. Um, yeah, yes, I understand. Wow. By, by the way, keep in mind, they aren't a small They have, I think, like 80-something employees, right? Do we have an overlay here? Yes. This is, if you look at what's so important here, argued a union doesn't belong in a small news network struggling to make profits. He is just arguing for himself what he has been railing against as a macroeconomic <laughs> argument from the right for... 
<laughs> for decades. People on the right say, listen, if a, if a business that is trying to grow is being overtaxed, overregulated, right. if you have workers who have unrealistic demands with a union, and unions obviously held a lot of sway in the Midwest to the point where they're no longer competitive, like we've talked about the uh, the educational sectors unions, mm -hmm. we've talked about the SEIU, we've talked about uh, the uh, United Auto Workers Union. He is basically, Cenk Uyghur, in defending himself from his workers unionizing, he, you could read this quote and attribute it to Milton Friedman. He's borderline making an anti-union video for PragerU. That's what you can see coming down the pike. It's believable. Yeah. I'm Jake Weir for PragerU. And right. what do you think about card shit? <laughs> <laughs> Just like this whole time, this whole time, he's been really against unions. He's been oh. really excited against corporations and being pro-union. And it's not even, if you look at the, the articles, it's not even a consideration that people can unionize at the Young Turks. It's like, oh. of course that's absurd. What do, you, what do you think? I'm made of money? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the furniture company or, I don't know, the tap water company down the block? Everything's all right except to work at the Young yeah, I'm a little ones, bit confused. Well, how would Bernie feel? Uh, by the way, hit the notification bell if you're subscribed yes. on YouTube because subscriptions don't mean a whole lot. Hit all notifications and please do consider uh, joining Mug Club at ladderwithcredit.com slash Mug Club because we, uh, we are not funded by a foreign caliphate nope. or investors. And this is another point. It's, it's weird because the Young Turks, they have a lot of money. Right, mm. part of the oh, new three hundred million dollar uh, the the news spending initiative yeah. is going to be funding them. They've received millions of dollars. Buddy Romer, Republican, I think it was twenty something million dollars from uh, was it Al Jazeera. All these things, this yes. this matters. They have a mm, lot of money, far more zero. than we have, by the way. I, we'll get into that in a second. Why is this all important? Because just listen to what uh, what Shank has to say <laughs> when talking about politicians and corporate money. Like this isn't just an out of context quote. His raison d'être is to champion the work. Like, yes. the Young Turks is just short of having a hammer, sickle, and fist logo. <laughs> and then when someone's like, you know, not a fist, but like, hey, how about a high five? They're like, never! No. <laughs> not even close. Here's another clip of him talking about corporate money. They never talk about corporate power. So they say, oh, unions, good, because I want the union's donations, I want the union's union voters, et cetera. But I don't want to take any risks. As you've taken, <laughs> the unions, you've uh, taken the funding with. from unions. They're fighting with the corporate power, right? And so when you keep taking money from those same corporate uh, interests, do I am I convinced that you're really going to breathe fire on those guys? <laughs> I don't I, you know what? I'm listening. <laughs> you have my curiosity, yeah. my friend. Another thing in the Huffington Post, uh, Uyghur said himself, he was quoted saying that he's a strong supporter of unions, especially at large corporations that aren't sharing profits with their workers. This begs uh, so, Jake, wow. do you share profits <laughs> with your workers? Because guess what? <laughs> Evil control. We do here. You know those Christmas yeah. bonuses that you get? I, with a, pretty sizable. Oh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. we don't know what the profits Very are going good. to be. We actually do share profits here. I would love to have a look at your books and see what these employees are being paid. And if there are great workers out there who aren't dyed in the wool leftists, we are hiring here at Lado with Connor. <laughs> yeah. You can do the work. We're not union, but you'll be paid better and treated more fairly. Uh, another quote. The reality is we're in a precarious position, Uyghur said. We're in a oh. digital media landscape oh. where almost no one makes money mm. or is sustainable. Mm. Really? First off, now this is your excuse personally, right? On a macro level, you're pro-union, but not because not you because your company's yeah. too small with only 84 employees, and you're not. Well, guess what? We have 15 employees total. No venture capital. We are entirely sustainable. And Young Turks, by the way, you supported us being entirely demonetized. So yeah. that's an uphill battle we don't have. What is your excuse with over $30 million in funding and shooting at Google Studios? For, what's your excuse? Yeah. How are you not sustainable? It is remarkable uh -huh. to me. What do, we have 20 million from foreign investors, millions from Buddy Romer, over 80 employees. It is remarkable to me the lack of self-awareness here and that they're doubling down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're just digging themselves in that ditch. <laughs> doubling down, going. being more anti. And something else, too, also, we've never taken, I think this is remarkable to me, we've never taken an investment from anyone. A ask me how much I own of Vladimir Carter. How much do you own it? 100%. Oh, wow. 100% so I can make nice. these decisions. We've always had licensing agreements or partnerships right. that we have with the Blaze where they can handle back end and software and they have a new app up now, by the way, that's great. And you get people like Dave Rubin and all these other shows over there at the yeah. Blaze. But no one has ever come to us and given us 20 or 25 million, certainly not a foreign caliphate and saying, well, hopefully we get our money back in 10 years. We've never taken on that kind of financial burden. We have fewer employees. We have obviously, as you know, Young Turks, greater traffic than you do right now. <laughs> and we Ooh. are entirely sustainable. So the justification is predicated on, well, listen, we can't unionize because we haven't made enough money yet and nobody's making money online. No, no, hold on a second. We are funded 100% by f***ing mugs. <laughs> <laughs> and we're sustainable and we're growing.
And we don't even have uh, people here talking about how they need, what are you doing that they need a union? Right. Now, and I get it. I understand where he's coming from, by the way. I'm not a big fan. I think unions served a role at one point in this country, but not anymore. And I do agree with what he's saying. <laughs> they wouldn't be able to afford a union. Right. They wouldn't be able to grow. Right. That is what small businesses and big businesses, all business, good business, they argue, you overtax us, you overburden us with regulations, we won't have that money to reinvest. This is another thing when they talk about profits and Amazon paying nothing, into, it's not true. You are using the exact right. same justification, <laughs> only less honest, that other big corporations use uh, to not be paying exorbitant amounts in taxes. This is another thing too, like we've talked about, liberals who are successful financially, they yeah. don't live like liberals. Mm -hmm. Right. They don't live like leftists, certainly not as it deals with finance. Do you think that anyone in, in Southern California, they're writing in more money to the government? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, somebody put another million dollars on top of that. Even yeah, when Barack Obama, they would say now they wouldn't because of the system. What about when Barack Obama was president? You didn't want to throw the first black president a few extra bucks <laughs> yeah. to work with with his right. shovel-ready job? Yes, yeah, so if you could avoid all those loopholes, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, exactly. Please. Okay, so I'll do away with the Swiss bank account. No, no, keep it. Yeah, keep the keep, Swiss keep, bank yeah. account. <laughs> not that one. I mean, don't right. forget the Caymans, right? <laughs> all these rules are for them. That's not me. Uh, not me. Uh, I don't think that Cenk Uyghur should have to have a union. I want to be very clear. I'm defending right. his right. But the hypocrisy knows no bounds. And I would uh, very much, if uh, Young Turks wanted to have a third-party company, look at compare books as to what percentage of, since apparently the Young Turks don't understand profits, what percentage <laughs> go to employees here versus there, uh, what's fair, pay, who's being treated more fairly. It would... It would bring me great joy, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, so there was a negotiation today, I guess, between the union heads, uh, or as Cenk Uyghur right. refers to them, no longer employed here. Of course. And, uh, and Cenk Uyghur. And, There's uh, the door. Thank God we just, uh, we actually have exclusive footage, I believe, of that meeting today. All we're looking for is our fair share. TYT gets $4 million from Buddy Romer firm. 20 million from other investors and, and fundraisers. YouTube even gave us a chunk of $300 million in their news initiative. I mean, I think it's only fair we do the work. I think we're entitled to a living wage. Okay, that's bullshit. Every word you just said is bullshit, all right? Everything, it's bullshit. It's what would you people consider fair? I mean, a, a tiered profit sharing initiative. That's bullshit, okay? You're bullshit, all right? Uh, what Mr. Uyghur means is that your demands are at least Somewhat unreasonable. That's right. Uh, let's see. So you didn't invest in the creation of the company. You didn't take any risks. You're employed, and you're getting paid accordingly. That's right. That's absolutely right. Okay. Well, what about a a raise for all the extra work we do? And what extra work would that be? We have to light Mr. Chink. It takes a crew of at least ten people, four hours pre prep. That's bullshit. Okay. Every word you just said is bullshit. All right. And we have to cover up half the mall. What this mall? Yeah. You see that mole? Yeah. That's so that's bullshit work! You didn't cover up that mole! Oh. I told you to cover up the mole! It's still there! That's bullshit! Listen, extra work would have to be quantified by tangible examples of labor outside of the parameters of your contract. None of that would meet that criteria. That's right. That's absolutely right. Beyond the contract, well, what about all of the search algorithm scrubbing? Bullshit. Search scrubbing. Yeah, search. He has a search scrub all the results for Armenian genocide denial. That's bullshit. Yeah, and then he makes Anna say on air that he's addressed it and move on, but he's never addressed it. Okay, that's bullshit! You're bullshit! This one's bullshit! Did it happen, though? Did what happen? The Armenian Genocide? That's a trick question, right? That's bullshit! That's a bullshit yeah, question! Yeah, okay, 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 listen! So, healthcare and overtime at two and a half? Three and a half in dental. We can do that. Hey there, YouTube viewer. You know the drill. Just click one of these other videos in a box playing up here. And I mean, there's an actual box. I don't, of course, mean that in the feminine sense. It's a slur, but that, of course, I don't mean box because men can have boxes too. And I don't mean to say box. I just, that men can, there's like a DC outlet and an AC outlet, and they can be either one that they choose depending on the electrical current or the charge of ions, I think.